Kamala Harris is surging in the race. She is ahead now. She has broken 50 percent. She is ahead in five of the key six states that will decide the outcome of the presidential race. But there is a lot of daylight between today and the end. A lot will happen, specifically events that are beyond the control of any president, beyond the control of any person, really. Iran is getting ready to attack Israel. We are on the edge of a major Middle Eastern war. Nobody knows what will happen. The administration has said the attack can come at any time. And the second that it does, everything changes and the wheel turns again. The fact of the matter is, a few weeks ago, Donald Trump's key aides were in the Atlantic magazine measuring the drapes, saying they would win the election in a landslide. Today, Corey Lewandowski is back as their supervisor. The disgraced former campaign manager has returned because the Trump campaign is in shambles. But this is a process that in the end is a character test. It will not be an anointment for Kamala Harris. It simply doesn't work that way. She will have bad days and hopeless nights. That's how presidential campaigns go. But next week, the convention is at hand, and it will show how much more the American people want better hope, optimism than Trump's vile attacks. This is The Morning. Stay tuned.